Okay, this is a test of the Rode M5 microphone on top of my uh, Sony uh, NX80 camera pointing back towards me, maybe about 30 uh, odd centimeters away and looking down onto the bench as I normally would. So I've got this uh, set to feed the mono microphone into both channels at the same time. I've got a 20 dB attenuator. I've got standard internal gain on my camera. Uh, it's coming from the XLR microphone input with uh, phantom power, no low cut filter, and a manual uh, gain setting of five on both channels. So I'm just testing this. Uh, let's move around to the left hand side of the microphone. I'm still talking towards the microphone. I'm now talking uh, towards the product that I'm actually looking at here. Walk to the other side of the microphone behind it and I'm talking down to the bench and let's have a move the camera around a bit and here we go. See what happens with my voice if I change the microphone just pan it around like that. Check, check, check one, two. Also check for plosives. Uh, so stop, pop, uh, talking directly into the microphone. Stop, pop. Probably I heard some uh, pop in this uh, from a previous recording. That's the Rode M5 manual gain mode. And this is the same M5, Rode M5 microphone, but with auto gain. Everything else exactly the same, same internal gain inside the camera. Check, 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 one, two. Uh, from the side, looking down, talking down towards the product. From the other side of the microphone, talking down to the product. Check, check, one, two. I'll add some whisper in so I'll talk softer. I'm now probably half a meter away behind it. Um, Talking, this is probably my normal uh, voice level. Check, check, check one, two. And plosives, stop, pop. Stop, pop. Okay, this is a test of the internal mic inside the uh, Sony NX80 camera as opposed to the Rode M5, which I was uh, using before. There it is. Yes, I had to add some uh, tape on there to uh, get it up to... Uh, size, but that's of course, no, it's not pointing the wrong way, it's pointing the right way because I do most of my work behind the camera. Anyway, this is the internal microphone which is on the top of the Sony NX80, and you can probably hear the difference in the sound level because I'm actually talking from the left hand side of the microphone. And if I move over to the right hand side of the microphone, you can probably hear the volume differently, especially if you use headphones. Anyway, uh, none of this audio contains any filtering. I'm just doing a test and a plosive test. Stop, pop, stop, pop. And the problem with the internal mic is uh, compared to my uh, Canon, previous Canon um, what is it, HFG30, that one really didn't have any directional uh, stuff for its top-mounted microphone, but this uh, Sony seems to, the mics uh, probably, you know, pointed in like an XY uh, type pattern, and it is really quite directional if I go to the other side. Anyway, I'm half a meter behind the camera now, should be even audio, I can see it on the VU meter, even audio on both mic level. So I'm talking down towards the product at the moment and now I'm talking directly into the microphone. Probably 30 centimeters away which is fairly typical for how I shoot a video. Check, check. And for a third test I'm actually using my uh, Sennheiser EW100 with uh, the lapel mic and I've got that uh, lapel mic uh, external on my jumper pointing up and uh, this is me looking down at the video, but if I hold my head up or point in the other direction, even though I'm speaking the same level, you probably hear a difference. Now if I look down like this and talk towards the microphone, it's probably going to be louder. Whereas if I, yep, head up and to one side, it's actually not as good. So lapel mics actually aren't as magnificent as you think they are, especially for this uh, sort of application. So often a close field uh, proximity internal mic and a camera or the rear mounted uh, M5 like I've got here could uh, potentially be better for behind camera use, let alone more convenient. You don't have to dick around with batteries and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, 
Uh, this is not auto mic level. I will now switch to auto gain level. Okay, we're now on auto gain. So if I talk down towards the mic like this, it should be okay. If I talk straight ahead, it should probably lose a bit of the bass. And if I tilt my head to the side and talk like that, it should lose a bit more. Now I'm coming, I'm looking down directly towards the mic, but the auto gain should kind of fix the levels up, but you'll probably hear a difference. I'm talking to the side again now and now back down towards the mic. Check, check, check one, two. Let me know which one you think is the best.